Hello children. In today's class, we are going to discuss about non-contact forces. So already you know very well, contact force means a force that requires a contact to occur. Got it? So you have to touch an object to apply a force on it. Whereas in non-contact forces, you don't have to touch an object. So without even touching the object, you will be able uh, you will be able to move an object. That is what is called as a non-contact force. An example for this non-contact forces are magnetic force, electrostatic force, and gravitational force. So in the first topic, magnetic force. So magnetic force, which is nothing but how a magnet gets attracted towards each other. This you know very well. You might have played so many times with a magnet, but what is the reason behind that a magnet gets attracted towards each other only when the unlike poles attract only when the unlike poles are near to it if the like poles of the magnets are near to it it will repel each other that is it will not get attracted instead it gets distracted so let us see an um, a picture related example for this see here here two magnets has been given this red end represents north and this uh, blue end represents south so in a magnet we have two ends one is north and the other one is south so only when south and north that is the two different ends opposite poles were kept near to uh, kept together they both get attracted otherwise if both the ends were going to be the same it repels each other that is it will get distracted from one another got it so this attraction and repulsion is depend is completely based on the another form of push or pull of an object so this magnet without being in contact is getting attracted or getting repel uh, repulsion yes so this is one such, uh, one such example of a non contact force similarly about electrostatic force so electrostatic force uh, one such example i can give you is when you switch on uh, when you when you want to run the uh, switch on the fan so what will you do you will just put the switch and electricity passes to the fan and the fan starts to run so what happens there an electrostatic force occurs you're not sitting and uh, rotating the fan with your hand right so this is one such example for an electrostatic force similarly um let us uh, look at uh, the another example for electrostatic force see here here you have to take a piece of straw and cut it into two equal halves the straw which you use to drink the juice so just take that straw and cut it into two equal halves suspend one of one end of the straw to the table like how they have done here and keep another end of the straw in your hand so now what you have to do is wrap this free end of the straw on a sheet of paper and bring uh, so that what happens this free end of the straw once you rub on a sheet of paper it becomes a charged body so it acquires an electrostatic force once you rub on a sheet of paper and if you br bring it closer towards the another end of the straw where you have suspended towards the table it gets attracted towards this charged body because this is uncharged body and this becomes a charged body so what happens they both gets attracted in case if you rub this end of the the suspended straw uh, end on a sheet of paper what happens this also becomes a charged body so both the charged bodies if you bring it closer it gets repulsion there a repulsion force will happen because both become some like pole sum which is much similar to the magnetic force which we have discussed i hope you understood about electrostatic force so let us see about gravitational force so gravitational force you know very well all the objects on the earth or uh, lying on the ground just because of the gravity which we have on the earth if the gravity is not there on the earth what will happen how all the planets or uh, uh, floating on the space like that only all the humans all the objects around us will start to float on the earth so in case if you have a coin or a pen on your hand in case if it slips from your hand what will happen it falls to the ground similarly the leaves of fruits also falls to the ground once they detach from the plant so what is the reason behind this it is because of the force of gravity which we have on earth so the earth's gravity pulls all the objects towards the center of the earth that is the reason behind this clear and see here in this example what happens 
an apple is falling from the tree so once it gets detaches from the tree the gravity pulls everything downwards on the ground this is how a gravitational force acts so in all these three different topics without even touching an object all the objects are um, being all, all the objects are, be are being exerted by a force clear that is called as a non contact force you don't have to touch an object to apply a force on it similar you you have discussed about all the magnets a magnet as an example even a two different straws when you rub it on a sheet of paper both becomes charged bodies and uncharged bodies and even the plants and trees um, the fruits that falls from the trees also can be taken as an example so all these are examples of non contact forces clear now we are going to look into another topic called pressure so what do you mean by pressure which is nothing but a physical force which you apply on an object so what is a physical force the in see look at this picture here a person is pushing a nail into a wooden plank so how he is pushing he is applying a pressure on the pot, on the um, head of the nail yes so he is applying a pressure on the head of the nail with the hammer so when he hit it very strong what will happen the uh, tip of the nail that is the end of the nail will be uh, will be inserted into the wooden plank clear similarly you might have experienced the strong winds during a storm or a cyclone so what will happen so during a storm or a cyclone it will blow away even the roof tops uh, roof tops of a building so what is the reason behind this uh, reason behind that it is because of the differences in air pressure so when the pressure in the air gets stronger what will happen it can even blow away the rooftops of a building or even it will flip the bus or even a vehicle which is there on the road so everything is because of the pressure in the air got it so the pressure is uh, here the formula for pressure has been given see here pressure is equal to force divided by area on which it acts so it depends on the area as well as how much force you apply on the area so that is that defines pressure and another example you can relate for this pressure see here a porter carrying a heavy load how does a porter carry that much heavy load on his head whereas the other normal humans cannot carry the reason behind that is see here he will place a round piece piece of cloth on his head when he has to carry the heavy loads so what will happen he increases the area of contact of the load with his with their head so when the area of contact of the load has been increased he will find it very easy to carry the load because the pressure on the head will be reduced that is the reason to carry the head that is the reason they will find it very easy to carry the load on their head got it so i hope you understood uh, the classes about non contact forces and pressure so let us uh, see in the next class children thank you